as Maria said, I was a member of the team uh, who visited both Jamaica and Barbados. And today I will speak about the information which was shared by the exporters, by the distributors and the companies we visited, as well as speak about what we actually observed in the market. We went to Jamaica from November the 4th to the 10th, right? And we attended 26 meetings while we were in the country, as well as we were taken on a visit to the Kingston Wharves. We visited the supermarkets, uh, both in the mid, low, and the high end of the market, as well as three retail establishments, uh, furniture stores, court singers, as well as a hardware store. The meetings with the public entities were like the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the Bureau of Standards, Anti-Dumping Commission, private associations, the Jamaica Exporters Association, the Manufacturers Association, and many distributors. The majority of the distributors we interviewed were from the food and beverage sector. Reason being, the food and beverage sector is the largest manufacturing sector in Trinidad and Tobago. But we also interviewed persons from the other sectors which I have listed on the screen. What we found in the market, Jamaicans pay a general consumption tax, which is a value-added tax, similar as we do. But their value-added tax is 16.5%, which is higher than Trinidad's VAT of 15%. This tax is not included on the shelf price of the item, um, unlike ours, but rather it's added to the item at the cash register. In terms of their standards, the Jamaica Bureau of Standards is the agency responsible for monitoring all institutions, including food producers, to ensure that they produce quality food products. Now, Jamaica was, as you may or may not know, Jamaica was the first island in the Caribbean to be inspected by the US Food and Drug Administration, which inspects agencies and companies using some of the principles of HACCP. So, Although at present it is not mandatory for companies who local or importing companies in Jamaica to be HACCP compliant, the organization that is the Jamaica Bureau of Standards is engaged in a campaign to sensitize companies about the benefits to be gained by the certification and thereby encourage them to self-regulate. Right now the Bureau is finalizing the Jamaican standard for the production of processed food using the principles of HACCP. Now this would be beneficial for Trinidad companies to know because if Jamaican companies have the necessary standards, their products would look more attractive than our products in the market if we don't attain the similar standards. Throughout the meetings, uh, everyone spoke about the fact that labor is cheap in Jamaica, but energy costs, especially in comparison to Trinidad's energy costs, are very high. Right. Some people said it was hampering their manufacturing uh, companies. In fact, one company said it was more expensive to produce in Jamaica, and as a result, after uh, manufacturing for in excess of 48 years, they relocated their operations to Trinidad. Fortunately for them, they had a sister company in Trinidad. So they closed up shop in Jamaica, relocated to Trinidad, and they now do weekly shipments from Trinidad to Jamaica of the product, and it's actually more cost effective for them to do that than to manufacture in their own country. When we met with the Freight Forward Association in Jamaica, they told us that it takes an average of four to five days for our shipments to arrive from Trinidad to Jamaica. What I uh, found out in additional meeting is that on average it takes about eight days. Now, in general, it is relatively easy to ship goods, uh, both via sea and air freight in the Jamaican market. But sea freights, of course, are viewed uh, usually as the most cost-effective method of shipping. Vessels transporting products manufactured in Trinidad are shipped to the Kingston Container Terminal, which is one of the region's leading container transit sh shipment ports, which, and it consists of three terminals, the North, South, and West Terminal. Jamaica actually has several uh, ports which receive containerized shipments, but a number of them do both containerized as well as cruise ship passengers. In terms of our maritime shipping lines operating the Trinidad-Jamaica route, there are several. 
we got an average of the cost of shipping a 20-foot container and the cost of shipping a 40-foot container. And the average price that we got was one US dollars, $1,030 for a 20-foot container and approximately $2,277 for a 40-foot container. When we met Grace Kennedy, they told us that uh, consumers are looking for healthier foods and beverages. But in our economic reality, price is an issue. Consumers look for specials. The Jamaica Chamber of Commerce said, people will look at what is affordable, shop to suit their pockets. Therefore, coming from those meetings, everyone said price was an issue. This table on the screen is actually an excerpt which is published monthly by the Consumer Affairs Commission, and it is published in their daily newspapers. What it shows is a comparison of, for all the major supermarkets, shops and grocers in each town, in each of the 14 parishes. The list shows the basic food commodities, as well as household cleaners, soaps, etc., by brand size and size of the item. So when consumers can see the price of each item, they can do a comparison before they actually shop. So when they go to shop, they can make an informed decision as to where to purchase the items. Now this information is available online as well. When we visited Boss Furniture Company, they told us that Trinidadian companies could get into this market in a joint venture if they have the right price, quality, and product. T. Geddes Grant said, the small corner side convenience stores are benefiting more, as when the consumer's products have been exhausted, they tend to go to these stores and buy single items until they can do their mountain shopping, which is no different from Trinidad and Tobago, because some of us, if when things run out in the middle of the month, we may go to a corner side store and save the mountain shopping to buy all the major items in the supermarket. When we went to the supermarket, though, what we noticed is that many of the supermarkets offer discounts for bulk purchase. Unlike uh, Trinidad, where we normally have banded items, sometimes when the item is going to expire, what we saw, what I observed, is that many of the items were not banded together, but on the shelf, it showed you what is the cost saving if you would purchase one item as opposed to two or three, thereby encouraging the customers to purchase more than one of the product. We also met with a, a chemical cleaner, and what he does, he manufactures household cleaners and chemicals. He has been engaged in this operation for over 18 years. He said he was the first person to do this, and I'm going to speak about what he does with the bleach. What he does is he does bulk trade, meaning no packaging. He operates primarily in the low end of the market, so the poorer consumers can access his products and so therefore the product will not be found in the supermarkets. He, for his um, product, he says that packaging was accounting for 80% of the cost of the item and this being the bleach. So therefore he decided to uh, move away from that aspect of the business and sell only the content, so the actual liquid bleach, and sell it in bulk. Right. So the product is manufactured and then he delivers it in gallon barrels to the retailer's storage tanks. The retailer stores the product and then he will sell it to the consumers in their own vessels by the liter. So the consumer is able to purchase as little or as much of the product as they want because they're bringing their own vessels so it saves on the cost of bringing a bottle and which is also better for the environment as it cuts down on the number of plastic bottles which will be used. Now this our uh, biggest sign here shows the Eat Jamaica campaign by the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries. So there is a push to buy Jamaica, brand Jamaica. Throughout all the interviews, whether it was public or private sector, it was said that there is a perception that Trinidad and Tobago products have little or no problems entering and dominating the Jamaican market. When we visited, there was a whole host of Trinidad and Tobago products on the shelves. Many billboards showcasing what we have to offer as well. Right. However, on the reverse, they felt that the trade relationship with Jamaica and Trinidad is unfair in that Jamaican problems have Jamaican products have difficulties pen, penetrating this market. So this is one of the things that came, they came out with the Buy Jamaican campaign. There is the view that this campaign is making the consumer more sensitive to where the product was manufactured. 
However, overall, persons said that it is having little or no effect on the average consumer, as many do not take the time to find out where the, consume, where the product is manufactured, so they will buy the product regardless. One person also said the fact remains that the country does not produce everything they consume, so they would have to source things from extra country. But there also is a growing resentment in the country for Trinidad and Tobago products. In fact, one supermarket chain, they refused to meet with the Export TT team because they said it would be counterproductive to what they are trying to do right now. And what they were trying to do basically is to sell out the Trinidad and Tobago products on their, self, on their shelves and not take any more. So there is some resentment in the country. Uh, thank you very much.